uh, chapter do you think it will be under chapter 2 part 2 sir bilkul bilkul absolutely correct so chapter 2 part 2 it is under chapter 2 part 2 for uh, fire prevention fire suppression and all those parts now the additional requirements for oil tankers oil tankers and chemical tankers this is where the uh, requirements for you know gas system comes in right now there is in, initially there are some uh, uh, requirements for venting arrangements right now venting arrangements what does venting mean what does venting mean sabse pehle so when we talk about a venting arrangement venting means that in a tanker the cargo is supposed to be loaded in a closed cycle closed cycle means um under uh, normal operational procedures and the normal operational condition you should not be able to see or smell or uh, touch the cargo you should not be able to see or smell or touch the cargo hearing is okay because hearing is sound waves which is from far obviously tasting is not never going to be so uh, that means that only one uh, aspect is allowed that is the sound so therefore it is in a closed closed means you will not be able to see you will not be able to uh, Uh, touch you will not be able to uh, smell the gas or whatever so that is what is supposed to be closed now in a closed loading circuit obviously uh, if a tank let us say this tank let us say i have a tank here now this tank i am going to load cargo so loading ke liye i have got a pipeline from wherever it is coming either it is coming that way or it is coming this way so whichever one whichever one you are using so let us say it is coming from the bottom in this way so the oil is coming in from here and the oil is going to fill up the tank slowly rising up now as the tank gets filled up the tank was originally in having some gas inside now if it is supposed to be fully tight then the gas pressure will increase due to the reduction of gas volume do you agree with that yes sir yes sir yes. inside the tank is going to increase because of the reduction in volume now this reduction in volume uh, and the increase of pressure the tank will be able to withstand up to a particular level that is the design whatever is done now if the pressure will in, exceed the design limitation then there can be rupture of the tank itself the tank bulkheads or the side could buckle and there could be rupture of the tank so therefore to avoid that we will have venting arrangement for the gas venting arrangement for the gas now this venting arrangement will be right on top of the tank and it will allow the uh, the gas to pass out from here it will allow the gas whatever is the build up of pressure to pass out from here now what what kind of methods are they uh, suggesting because you see the problem here is that if i keep the uh, like a, if i just have a pipe you know like a ballast pipe or a ballast vent if i have something like that connected to a cargo tank it is going to work however what is the normal working pressure inside the ballast tank anybody any any ship it is the same there is no difference between tanker uh, container normal at atmospheric pressure sir absolutely normal atmospheric pressure so in this case also what will happen is if i have that kind of an arrangement it will become normal atmospheric pressure now if there is normal atmospheric pressure if there is normal atmospheric pressure and let us say for any particular reason if the loading stops right the level will stop going upwards which means that the 
pressure inside the tank and the pressure outside will become at equilibrium. That means that outside air can come in, inside air can go out. Now, remember that we said that the tanks are supposed to be maintained at an inert condition, that is 8% oxygen. Now, if the outside air is going to come in, then that 8% requirement will be breached and we can have <coughs> an explosive atmosphere inside the tank, which could cause fire and explosion. So therefore, this venting, whatever is being done out or this venting arrangement pipeline must have some controls, must have some controls. So what uh, is Solas saying? The Solas is saying that the first one is that there can be a common venting arrangement, common venting arrangement. Now this common venting arrangement, it will be part of the inert gas piping. And in the inert gas piping, if you go back, are you able to see my uh, document on Solas venting arrangement? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will just be changing the tabs here itself so that uh, we can go between the different tabs and to look at the part there, right? So in that common venting system, when, when we talk about in that case, uh, this is my inert gas line, yeah? On the deck, this is what is my inert gas line. This is deck. This is the main cargo tank area is on this side. The main cargo tank area. Now here I will have what they are calling it as a common mass riser. The common mass riser is nothing but a pipe which is at a sufficient height. That pipe has got a valve there and that valve you can open, close, throttle, do whatever you need to so that the pressure can be maintained below the valve. Above it, there are obviously the sim system is... Uh, similar to a ballast tank except that there is no float there because there is no need for weather tightness it is so high up the only arrangement that is there is a flame screen right so only one flame screen will be there and then it is able to come out of there obviously uh, it is not uh, directly vertically coming out in this way there is a cover here and the flame screen is actually here so the gas actually will come out in this direction okay so this is this is how a common venting system works. Any questions? Common venting system. Anybody? The PV walls are also yeah, venting arrangement. Don't don't combine with that. Whatever we have talked up to now. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, especially for those people who are not working on tankers. Let me remind this again. Especially for those people who are not working on tankers. Because you will 100% get questions related to tankers in your orals. Without which you will not pass. And these are some of the very, very, very basics. We are not yet into the major part. Sir, common venting to masterizer. That is what I have highlighted here. Yes. To the inert gas system. Yes, sir. Gas correction niche sir. Which plus which one are you talking about? It is masterizer. The gas direction is coming down. Why it is closed from up? close Let us say I have a pipe, something like this. And if I just put a put a flame screen here, yeah, and I have a valve here, yahan pe I have a valve, right? So what will happen in case of barish, in case of uh, uh, ice, what will happen? All that is going to come up and it is going to fill up this one. So as soon as you open the vent, let us say there is a lot of pressure in the, uh, in the line and you want to open and release. So what is happening here? There is a head of liquid. This liquid is going to not allow the gas to go up until that head or the, that weight is overcome. So therefore, the liquid has to either come down and then disperse, then only the gas can come out. 
and that weight when it goes into the tanks it could also lead to uh, the water when it goes into the tanks it can also lead to contamination that is a that is a bahut hi chota issue the main issue here is that the pr allowed pressure is nowhere close to the required uh, level of uh, uh, height which is allowed there right so aapka height kya hoga at up to what height do you think a normal person can operate a valve by standing on a on a horizontal place Four feet, five feet, sir. Four feet, five feet. So let us say in roughly about two meters. Yeah, roughly about two meters. The height of a mast riser is in the range of four to four point five meters. Right. So in case of let us say you have heavy rains or ice, uh, uh, which has gone inside and uh, it has solidified as ice, um, it's not going to work. so it, this is this is just simple uh, seamanship like a thing so what they done is they just put a cover here iske upar ek dhakna dal diya so whatever falls from top is going to get uh, is never going to go inside the pipe and then yeah okay you can have a flame screen here but it makes better to have the flame screen here why because now you can see from here ki kya what is the condition of the flame screen If the flame screen was here, you cannot see from here outside. What is the condition? You have to remove that cover again. You where? If you need to do anything on the flame screen, you need to remove the cover. That is besides the point. But can you see the flame screen in the first case? The answer is no. If it is outside, then you can see it. So that is why. Anyway, uh, the construction or the design of the mast riser is uh, not part of the syllabus, but uh, it's good that you brought it up because. Uh, these are the type of questions which will help you to get uh, used to uh, uh, the concepts on which questions will be asked uh, but sir apne sir gas tankers mein jo vent risers hote hain wo direct open hi rehte hain sir upar ki aur usme cover nahi rehta sir so uh, uh, does it have any other uh, fittings on the top mm. उसमें से हम लोग आई जी भी वेंट कर सकते हैं कार्गो भी वेंट कर सकते हैं सीधा ऊपर ही वो कार्गो के लिए यूज करते थे ज्यादा माई क्वेश्चन इज सिंपल कवर था सर जो हमने देखा उस पे हां कवर था सर जो हमारे सिप पे था उसका कवर चेंज भी किया था टूट गया था इसलिए गैस टैंकर की बात कर रहा हूं ओके ओके इन गैस टैंकर्स दीस वेंटिंग अरेंजमेंट्स आर समथिंग कॉल्ड एज मार्व्स अरेंजमेंट मैक्सिमम अलायबल Uh, release uh, vapor system uh, release uh, vapor pressure or something like that marv release uh, vapor pressure so that is what it is called so i will uh, find out uh, when we are doing this topic this is part of our syllabus when we are doing this topic i will show you a sketch of that you will have a particular type of vent arrangement here so usme uh, there will be a small counterweight arrangement which will not allow anything to come inside is it possible for anything to come inside no sir so there has to be some arrangement which will prevent something from coming inside isn't it right yes sir. there vent are ha yeah bolo go ahead vent ke liye sir normal valves hi hote the apne paas wo vent ko isolate karne ke liye yeah so that that valve is how high नॉर्मल हाइट सर जैसे आप बोल रहे हो उसके बारे में एंड दी एंड दी एग्जिट ऑफ द पाइप इज हाउ हाई वॉल्व के ऊपर कितना दूरी है इफ दिस इज द वॉल्व देन व्हाट इज द हाइट वो तो सर मतलब बहुत ऊपर है मतलब मास लेवल तक जाता है ऊपर तक ओके सो द वॉल्व इज वॉल्व के ऊपर मे बी व्हाट एवर 5 मीटर्स आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट सर एकोमोडेशन का मंकी आइलैंड तक का हाइट है वहां Okay, fair enough. No, sir, around fifteen to twenty meters. Okay, fifteen to twenty meters, and you mean to say there is nothing here? Okay, this one I will need to check up. I will need to check up. 
And in fact, I've got in touch with a few of uh, our colleagues who are working on gas tankers who will clarify it. So if you have anything, issues like this, please bring it up. Because I never worked on gas tankers. Whatever I will see in the designs, that is what I'm going to pass on to you. And to do that, I'm taking the help of some of our colleagues who are working on gas tankers as masters for a long time. Uh, same thing with chemical tankers also, but chemical tanker operations is much, much more easier than, uh, 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 I mean, much more closer to a tanker operation. So therefore, therefore, uh, it is nothing uh, different, but uh, yeah, gas tanker is a different ball game altogether. The second thing is that uh, uh, the gas tanker, when we are, ex uh, yeah, I think gas tanker, let us leave it out of it at the moment. Okay, to please keep this and I will also make a note of this. We will talk about this uh, arrangement later on when we come to cash tankers. Um, okay, anything else? Anything else related to this one? Common venting system. No, okay. So sir, let me, yeah, go ahead. Sir, breather wall bhi hota na, iske paas laga. That is not a requirement. You can have, you can have, uh, but it is not a requirement. You can have. It is an. It is a. It is a very very optional item. You can have. Yeah. It is just a. मतलब सर secondary type of mayor ना. We. Okay, sir, मैंने देखा है. जैसे अभी जो जो शिप्स में मैंने बीदर बॉल देखे हैं वो उनका प्रेशर कम होता है एज कम्पेयर टू मास्टराइजर मतलब अगर प्रेशर ओवर हुआ तो पहले वो उठते हैं मास्टराइजर क्या कहते हैं अगर ऑटोमेटिक भी हुआ तो वो उठता नहीं जैसे कई बार मास्टराइजर हम लोग purpose of the breather valve is that it will allow to release some excess pressure and the masterizer valve if it is made automatic then it will be connected to a higher pressure however masterizer operation the, the i mean there is no uh, requirements for masterizer automatic operation so under the basic requirements of a masterizer it is supposed to be a simple pipe with a valve that's all right so that is that is what they are saying that in this case of uh, uh, so that 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 is the combined venting system and obviously if you have a combined venting system there has to be valves and other methods of isolating each and every cargo tank that is that is the second requirement so just make a note that venting arrangements can be combined into the inert gas piping and if it is combined each uh, uh, tank must have isolation valves and isolation valves and uh, kya kehte hain usko uh, blank valves yeah blank score there is there is a word they are using for it isolation valves and uh, yeah blank. blanks yeah blanks are actually what is used but what are they uh, talking about the valves here sir sentence repeat kar yeah when uh yeah, get yeah each cargo yeah. tank must have isolating valves i think that's what each cargo tank must have isolating valves with clear indication and locking arrangement with clear indication of locking arrangement whether open or closed system whether uh, open or closed at the moment at any time whether open or closed at any time whether so dump valve is the bolte sir no dump valve is nothing to do with the inert gas system it is a pollution prevention measure it is a pollution it is a pollution prevention item right so um, yeah it should have a means of uh, yeah with clear indication and the locking arrangement showing the status whether it is open or closed uh, 
Okay. Um, okay. Let me just uh, go to the next part here. No, next it goes into the application here. Printing system shall be entirely distinct from air pipes or other compartment than the possibility of the Zenith criteria 5.3 to 5.5, 11.6 will apply. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's look at 11.6 if I might pass any Yeah, now the, we will come to this one. Fair enough, theta. So this is this is the part regarding venting. Next is inert gas. Inert gas application is inert gas. Twenty thousand dead weight and above all tank tankers for all tankers twenty thousand dead weight and above constructed between And 1st January 2016, 1st July 2002, and 1st January 2016, and 1st January 2016, must have a fixed IG system, must have a fixed IG system. Next. Eight thousand dead weight and above for tankers. Eight thousand dead weight and above for tankers. Eight thousand dead weight and above tankers. Eight thousand dead weight and above constructed. Constructed. After 1st January 2016, constructed after 1st January 2016, must have a fixed inert gas system. Must have fixed inert gas system. So, ye hai question. What is the application of inert gas? So, sometimes again, this is asked in the orals. So, so you are, yeah. Uh, in most cases, you know, uh, the word constructed means keel laid. In, 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 in this case, the interpretation is not delivered, it is always keel laid. So, starting of the construction. So, starting of the construction <coughs> sorry to 1st january 2016 in that case uh, up to 20000 tons because this was the original uh, requirement for inert gas system but after january 2016 they must also have inert gas system right Okay, uh, next point is 
Next point is um, Solas requirements for use of the inert gas. Solas requirements for use of the inert gas. Number one, crude oil washing. Crude oil washing. Number one, number two, inerting of double hull spaces, inerting of double hull spaces, if required, inerting of double hull spaces, if required. So when you've done the uh, oil tanker construction, why can you use in your uh, construction, have you done the oil tanker construction? Yes, sir. It is a double hull. Double hull ka matlab kya hai ki ek hull ke bheeter mein same, but uska size will be chota and it will be inside. Obviously, there will be a lot of uh, supports from each side. There will be a lot of supports. And uh, what usually happens is the double hull and the inner hull space this be your cargo tanks now there can be bulkheads here as well maybe port and starboard maybe port center starboard whatever but uh, the idea is that in case of an emergency you should be able to inert these tanks so this is another requirement Okay, next comes, uh, next point is requirement on chemical tankers. Next is requirement on chemical tankers. Yeah. Chemical tankers should have inert gas system. Chemical tankers should have, have inert whenever, whenever they are carrying, they are carrying the cargoes listed, whenever they are carrying the cargoes listed, In chap, whenever they are carrying, whenever they are carrying cargoes listed in chapter 17, Satra or Atra of the IBC code. Six, uh, sir, repeat Kardo, chapter. Chapter 18 of the IBC code. Chapter 17 and 18 of the IBC code. Next is gas tankers. Next is gas tankers. All gas, all gas tankers must have inert gas system. Okay, next is inerting, purging, and gas freeing. This one we can leave it for uh, later on when we are actually doing inerting, uh, purging, and gas freeing. Uh, yeah, we can go to the last one is uh, uh, on tankers. Protection of, sorry, protection of tanks, protection of tanks against thermal variation protection of tanks against thermal variation on tanks. Right? So 
दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आइटम प्लीज उसको अंडरलाइन करके हाईलाइट करके रखो इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आइटम प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ right now this is where uh, this is actually we can see yeah so what is the requirement number 1 is the pressure or vacuum inside cargo tanks the pressure or vacuum inside cargo tanks shall never exceed the design parameters cargo tanks shall never exceed design parameters right number 2 number 2 this can be this can this can be achieved by use of pressure vacuum valves this can be achieved by use of pressure vacuum valves this can be achieved by i so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make a sketch now next is on the top we'll have a flanged uh, device here we'll have a flanged device now how
very very simple uh, sketch please ask question no barest water is a different issue altogether usme <laughs> there are no uh, uh, ek तो दो दोनों क्या कहते हैं इट इज इट इज डिफरेंट बॉल गेम ऑल टूगेदर बैलेंस्ड वाटर हेड्स आर इन दिस वे सर ये सारे सिर्स पे सबका वैक्यूम प्रेशर और ये अलग अलग होता है ना सर की तरफ जाएगा तो सबका वो अलग अलग रिक्वायरमेंट है ना सारे टैंक या द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द वेट ऑफ द डिस्क विल बी बेस्ड ऑन द डिजाइन प्रेशर ऑफ द टैंक नाउ व्हाट एवर इज द डिजाइन प्रेशर ऑफ द टैंक बेस्ड ऑन दैट the survey uh, allowable uh, pressure and according they will specify ki you must fit uh, pv valves of this capacity minimum right so this is called the pressure side that is the p p and v is the vacuum side so in case of uh, pressure uh, uh, it is going to go straight up like this so the disk with the the t piece in effect if you like to remove this one that is also okay because how the actual connections are there no need to uh, no need to so uh, sir a minimum 2 meter height above the sir it is applicable for all six yeah this is the requirement deck it this is the requirement sign my ship it was almost 1.5 1.7 come back sign my ship it was almost 1.5 to 1.7 cm speed correct kaise re what is your height so my height is 1 go so are you able to touch the top at your head well yes sir because uh, we were putting down the this uh, using our hand only not without climbing up ha huh? without climbing up only we are uh, doing that sir no 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 are you able to touch the uh, uh, let your hand above your head level right sir i don't think so photo bhej jao zara पॉसिबल ही नहीं होगा सर वो तो नेटवर्क से भी ऊपर होता है फोटो भेजो दैट इज व्हाट आई एम आस्किंग यू आस्क योर शिपमेट हुएवर हैज रिलीव वीडियो सर एक्चुअली सर एक्चुअली हैव वर्क इन एन ओल्ड टैंक इन दैट ओल्ड टैंक और ओके इट वाज हाई इट वाज अबाउट 2 मीटर हाई बट माय सेकंड शिप वाज अ गैस टैंक सो इन दैट शिप इट वाज नो नो दिस इज दिस इज नॉट अबाउट गैस टैंक दिस दिस इज नॉट अबाउट गैस टैंक right let us not mix up please 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 if you mix up 
you will never be able to come out of the uh, come out of the confusion first and foremost tank deck on oil tankers and chemical tankers are the uppermost are below here on gas on uh, uh, will come to gas tankers on oil and chem the upper deck is the tank top for oil for your upper deck is tank top funda on gas tankers on gas tankers your tank top is extending above maybe like this or maybe like that and it is quite high it is uh, based on the large lng ships and all it will be about 10 meters uh, above the main uh, deck on smaller lpg ships maybe about 5 uh, meters above the lpg deck uh, above the main deck so when we talk about uh, which is your tank top uh, sorry yeah from where anything can go inside the basic you know kya hoga pata hai we go deeper and deeper into the uh, regulations and then we will miss out the basics that is what that is what what will happen see here what it says yeah have a great uh, a height as practicable above cargo tank deck to obtain maximum dispersal of flammable vapors but in no case less than 2 meters above the cargo tank deck now where is the cargo tank deck on tankers right where is the cargo tank deck on tankers on the tankers most... yeah on yeah. chemical tankers and oil tankers the cargo tank deck is on the main deck level the ships where if you are having a <coughs> uh, uh, a catwalk a catwalk in the center line then you should be ideally able to walk along the catwalk and you are able to operate the sir can we switch to that part sir diagram part meanwhile theek hai uh, we'll take a break here and i will let me just search uh, design of a pv wall if i can show you sir ye 30 meter <coughs> and 30 meters per second is a full flow wall there no uh, i did not see in solas anywhere it is mentioned that in the type we are we are working with that walk there is no requirement for cat walk the requirement is that the requirement is uh, not not a requirement this is what is a design it is it is easy for us to operate and to check so if i have if i have a cat as a chief mate i would really like to have a walk in the morning through along the cat walk and to check the pv walls are all okay or not that is what i want to do and if i am working on a vlc see i will take two rounds basically both center and starboard walk from the from one side take a full round and then i'll walk through the center to check the middle part hi this is thermal variation it is not related to gas uh, if i put gas in a compartment yeah and if the temperature is going to change what will happen to the volume right if the volume will increase what will happen to the pressure if the pressure will uh, decrease what will happen to the volume 
So all of these questions uh, will come. And the simple answer to those, we have to remember the basics of the gas laws. Now, when we talk about thermal variation, it is simply the temperature variation of the temperature of the gas. Now, this is also metrology may be to pade hoge, right? Yes, sir. Metrology may, why does the air go up during daytime and what is, what is uh, uh, land breeze, sea breeze, uh, convection current, yes, sir, nahi pade. Waap pe kya theory use karte hai? Same story. Yeah, they, 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 the issues are the same. Issues are the same. The heating of, of uh, air masses, what is air mass? Air mass is nothing but a general, general volume of uh, gas. So here also the same story. So if a, if a, a gas is uh, heated, what will happen to the volume? If the volume increases, what happens to the pressure, right? Yeah, it is also highlighted here. Why you need a high velocity pressure vacuum wall? Unwanted. What is the high velocity pressure vacuum wall? Now the question comes that is high velocity pressure vacuum wall a requirement? It is not. It is not a requirement. What is the requirement is given in SOLAS? Let me just go back to SOLAS because I, we stopped that in between. Let me go back to SOLAS. So two meters ke upar mein we made that, right? Next thing is, Agla <clears throat> um, point, I think that is where we left last time. That is <coughs> the distance from air intakes and openings to enclosed spaces, distance from air intakes and openings to enclosed spaces, distance from air intakes and openings to enclosed spaces like, like ballast tanks, ballast tanks, comma, stores, ballast tanks, comma, stores, pump rooms, ballast tanks, stores, pump rooms should be not less than five meters. Should be not less than five meters. Should be not less than five meters. Now, this is another issue. Now, this five meter issue is very easily sorted out on uh, gas tankers because they're on top of the but anyway, right now, next is next is how to prevent the liquid from entering the tank, uh, entering the pipeline, and closing the pipe. So that is the next next point is all cargo tanks should be fitted with. All cargo tanks should be fitted with independent high level alarms, independent high level alarms, independent high level alarms to monitor the level of oil in the tank, to monitor the level of oil in the tank does not exceed does not exceed to monitor level level of oil in the tank does not exceed a predetermined level a predetermined level predetermined level in bracket you can make a note uh, the best practice recommendation is 98% of tank capacity best practice recommendation 
98% of tank capacity. Right, uh, we are going to come into PV de devices also, but uh, uh, before that, let us finish off this uh, video. The topic is our heading, kya thi? prevention of? The topic, we are just continuing uh, SOLAS. Na? We are just continuing SOLAS requirements. So that is what we have just completed. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So why do we need a high velocity vent is to make sure that the gas rises up beyond a particular effect, right? and it should not be toxic to the people and flammable gases should not enter This is a special case we are showing. We need to offer temperature and everything else, but we don't know what happens. Trying to show the arrangement inside. Now we'll just go back to that part. Yeah, we can see the uh, counterweight here. This this weight this weight is designed for each and every ship in such a way that it will meet the requirement. Right? If now weight, agar gas can push up, then only it will fulfill uh, the requirements of venting as well as the height the gas emission is supposed to go. So that is how the PV wall works. So this is the pressure side. Now the vacuum side. Vacuum side is separate. Is mein, again there is a disc there. This disc is going to be pushed up to let the air go inside. That is how it works. Obviously, as you can see, this is a special uh, equipment made for ships which are operating in polar waters, not for normal ships. But yeah, obviously, we would like to have something of this type to do with the... Sometimes, what is a full flow PV valve? A full flow PV valve is not a SOLAS requirement or anything like that. A full flow PV valve is a valve which will allow the venting of the tank to take place at the maximum load pressure. For example, your uh, loading rate inside a particular tank is maybe about 1000 meter cube per hour. So the venting capacity of that uh, pipe and the uh, size and the weight and everything together, if it is able to match a uh, output of gas at 1000 meter cube per hour, right then we can say that it is a full flow pv wall and you are able to load the cargo by venting through the full flow pv wall now they when when we are talking about venting you know let me just try to draw it again maybe uh, that will help yes, sir can you explain again yeah let me try to explain it. so here our tank and your tank ke upar mein, I've got this PV wall. Usually it is located at the forward part. So I just put the PV wall there. Right. 
Now at the same time, I also have connection to the inert gas line. ये फॉरवर्ड पार्ट में होता है इसका भी कोई रीजन है सर या ऑफ कोर्स बिकॉज द शिप विल बी ट्रिम्ड बाय स्टर्न अंडर मोस्ट कंडीशंस एंड देयरफॉर द चांस ऑफ लिक्विड गोइंग इनटू द पीवी वॉल विल बी रिड्यूस्ड ओके सो दिस इज योर इनर्ट गैस मेन लाइन this is your inert gas branch line right now the branch line will have a blanking arrangement here which you are supposed to keep open and then the branch line will have a valve arrangement here which will be open and locked now you are loading oil inside the tank so if you want you can go normally this is what we will be doing is we will go through the ig line and then we come out of the ig line connection to the mast riser yeah come out through the ig line connection to the mast riser we will open that one and let whatever the venting is there it will release and go out from there now in today's date there is a lot of issues regarding release of vapors into the atmosphere uh, so in some cases you might find that the ig line is also having a manifold connection for a vapor return line to shore so that is another uh, aspect entirely that is a vecs system the vapor uh, return line back to shore so you can have a vapor return now the question comes that uh, in some cases uh, you might need to isolate the ig line you may not be able to use ig line for all the tanks together example on chemical carriers what do you do you are not loading the full ship of uh, with a single grade and you are loading so many different grades so therefore vapor con contamination becomes a major issue so in those cases what you will do is you are going to close this one so if you are going to close this one then how do you load you will have to load at the rate of venting through the pv valve because the pv does the pressure increases the pv valve will open and the venting rate of the pv valve will be your maximum loading rate venting rate of the pv valve will be your maximum loading rate now one thing comes here is that ki if these two rates are same that is if you are using the main uh, ig line and the venting rate then we call it as a full flow yani ki maximum flow otherwise we have to bring down the flow accordingly this is what is the basic idea well, obviously there are no questions asked on this as of now but uh, this is a oral question which can come not in the written so what is a full flow when uh, full flow pv valve sir if we have difference in the flow then yeah then you have to bring down the uh, loading rate to match that uh, uh, venting rate of the pv valve so where uh, we... which one which one will have less rate so the ig will never have minimum rate the yes IG... because of the size ig is designed the one of the requirements of ig is that it is designed to go at the maximum loading rate it is designed to operate at the maximum loading rate which will be roughly about 1.25 times of the maximum pumping rate ye sari cheeze mathematics mein hai but uh, more of it uh, when you come for chief mix abhi nahi the design of the uh, pumps let us say on a vlcc the pumps are designed for 15000 liter cube per hour which means that your ig system will be designed at 125% of the capacity that is about kitna hota hai 125% bolo which is about uh, more than 18000 therefore uh, your loading rate natural loading rate will be about 18000 meter cube per hour so this is how it works sir ac ko full rate bolte hain sir yeah uh, this is how it works and this is how charter parties are calculated because charter parties for tankers they give you a time 24 hours for loading and uh, 36 hours for discharging 
This is the time which is given for time test. This is a standard chapter 40 course. Um, from the main uh, issues, we need to understand the basics you know, that we are not going into the main operations. Nobody after passing second mates will get the opportunity to take charge on tankers without doing an atot court course. So advanced tanker safety is the name of that. But uh, basics we must know. That is the whole idea. So having done that, now comes the, we will go back to the inert gas system and let us talk about the different components and uh, uh, did we highlight that? Let me go back to that part. Yeah, did we highlight the different components and what is the purpose, what it does? I had written down last time with the sketch itself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So the purpose of the scrubber is to cool you. Okay. What I will I will be sharing this file with you. It's got twelve pages. Uh, this particular file I'll be sharing with you. It's got twelve pages. Definitions we have already done. The flammable limits we have already done. Then this part, these two pages we have not yet done. This one we have already done. Now in our next class, we will be targeting this one. Deck seal, different types. Wet seal, semi-dry type and dry type. This is what we will be targeting in our next class. So the homework will be to make the sketches on these pages. Ye ek, do, or teen. And I will be explaining to you exactly what is going on there. And we will write down a few lines on each because um, I found some questions are coming that directly that uh, describe the working of a wet seal or a dry seal, uh, a deck seal, which is almost like six to eight marks. So sketch and the uh, little bit of writing is important. So that is what you will need to do that. Ye homework is that okay? So you can please make a note. Yes, uh, figure, figure number seven, figure number eight, and figure number nine. Figure number seven, figure number eight, and figure number nine to be made for next Wednesday. I mean, for next Wednesday. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So now we will be going into the PV breaker part. PV breaker part is a part of the PV breaker part is a part of the IG, IG system. Now, Kase, it is a part of the IG system. It is in this way. Now, what I will do is I will connect up a pipeline coming from here into a cylinder into a cylinder and this cylinder is mounted on the deck okay this cylinder is mounted on the deck. Now this cylinder has got an inner cylinder also. This cylinder has got an inner cylinder also. So never mind. And on the top, this will extend the other thing out there. On the top, we have an opening. Same like the mask riser, we have an opening and uh, our meshes, that is our flame screens are on the sides. <coughs> so if anything wants to come out, 
if anything wants to come out, it has to come out in this direction. It has to come out in this direction, right? So when the air is flowing or when the inert gas, when the gas is flowing through the IG main line, it will also come in this particular direction. There is no valves, remember, there is no valves. Ah, the bottom part has to be open. And the second thing is, ye jo pipe hai, this pipe is extending into this one. So, here also, Okay, guys, please dhyan do isme. pay attention. Yeah, please pay attention. Those who are not working on tankers. So the, when the IG is uh, connect, I mean, it is automatically connected. There is no, uh, there is no uh, valves in between. So the pressure coming in from the main line will come in in this way and it is able to enter the pipe in this way it is able to enter the pipe in this way <laughs> now if there is nothing inside the pv wall how uh, sorry uh, there is nothing inside the breaker right now this is these are just two cylinders one is upside down and the other one uh, now in this case what will happen is it can come out from here and go out from here straight away but we cannot allow that to happen. So to avoid that, what we will do is, we will fill this uh, uh, <clears throat> with some liquid. So we will fill this up with some liquid. Okay, this is what we are going to do. So if you fill it up with some liquid, then as long as the inert gas is maintaining some pressure, what will happen, the inner inner level is going to go down <coughs> inner level will go down and the outer level is going to go up this is what is going to happen are we able to understand this yes sir yes, sir. yes. So when the pressure is maintained to so there will be no leakage of gas but this is what is going to happen now, if the pressure is too much, if the pressure is too much, so ye jo, uh, this particular increase in water, what will happen? It is going to come out from here. The whole thing will come out from here. And then uh, the uh, gases are going to get absolutely, the water is going to come out from there. It's going to come inside and this is going to go away. Ye shayad ho sakta hai. Niche mein pada hai, thoda sa. Aisa ho sakta hai. And this whole thing is going to go and this is going to go out. Now, the excess pressure, it can flow out and release the pressure inside. This is how the pressure part of the PV breaker will work. Uh, sir, it is, uh, <coughs> we are using this for to release the pressure on IG line, not for individual tanks. Suppose we uh, we lock one tank yeah, and it, it will not release. A, it is a protective, or we can call it as a common protection device. It is a common protection device for the IG system. IG system ke liye waise to kafi sare protective devices hain, and also a common protective device for the tanks. So under normal circumstances on crude oil tankers where the IG system started. You know, 2002 ke pehle kya tha? Nobody asked me this question. Ki why are we not talking about before 2002? Before 2002, the requirement was 30,000 tons. And uh, 30,000 tons, and that also on certain types of uh, ships, not on all types of ships. So that was a requirement. I, I actually did a cadet ship on all the ships uh, without any inert gas system. But we were uh, uh, carrying on one, we were carrying. 
I think uh, NAFTA and all that, which was not very safe, but uh, yeah, that was how it was. So this is how it will work in the pressure pressure case, right? Now, in case of uh, in case of vacuum, in case of vacuum, the whole scenario is going to change. In case of vacuum, the whole scenario will change. Kaise? Now, remember that uh, this was our uh, liquid level under normal circumstance. And if there is vacuum, that means that the pressure is being created away, yani towards the tank. The tank is trying to pull the gas. So if the pressure is trying to pull the gas in this direction, what will happen is the atmospheric pressure has got increased, is more than the inside pressure. Therefore, the outside pressure or the outside air is going to come in. Now, once the outside air comes in, it is going to push this liquid down. Now, once it pushes the liquid down, again, this part is going to go away. But ye pani jayega kaha pe? the pani is going to rise up inside the, inside the column here. It is going to rise up inside the column here and through the column, it is going to pass in this way. The water is going to pass. Whatever the water it has to be lodged, it will pass in this way and it will get deposited in the tanks and your uh, tanks will come back to the atmospheric pressure, therefore preventing the overpressurization or underpressurization. In this case, underpressurization. So pressure vacuum breaker Pressure vacuum breaker, number one, is a safety device fitted into the inert gas system and the common venting system. That is the first thing that you must know. The PV breaker or the pressure vacuum breaker is a safety device which is fitted into the which is fitted into the inert gas system or the, and the common venting system. That is the first thing, <coughs> right? Number two is it is not, not to write in capital letters. Please make that note in capital letters. The PV breaker is not PV venting device, right? PV breaker is not a venting device. Okay. And in this figure 16 here, they have also drawn uh, in one sketch only, but uh, they have done it in so many. So this is the main IG line, right? From the main line, it is coming into this uh, uh, breaker. And the breaker is obviously not open directly above. The breaker goes to the side, but the working is pretty much like this. So this is under normal circumstances, whatever the pressure is there, that minimum pressure is maintained in this way. If there is excessive pressure, then it is it will push the uh, liquid out of the breaker and the gas is going to go out. If there is uh, less pressure, then air outside will be able to push the liquid inside the line and uh, push it back towards the cargo tank and uh, water can, uh, sorry, air can go inside and neutralize the vacuum there. This is the concept. So some examples are given here. We can use those examples pretty much, it's, uh, which, is, which is good enough. This is what is a liquid filled pressure vacuum breaker as per the I don't know. any doubts any questions guys a very very common question in the exams sir uh, uh, when in vacuum sir then yes, water so yeah, under yeah, contaminate yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay so let us look at it in this way that contamination of cargo 
इज एक्सेप्टेबल टू प्रोवाइड अगर ऐसा सोचो कि कंटेमिनेशन करने से खर्चा कितना होगा और अगर टैंक फट गया तो खर्चा कितना है या दैट शुड आंसर द क्वेश्चन सर इज देयर एनी डेंसिटी रिक्वायरमेंट और समथिंग फॉर द लिक्विड या जनरली इट इज सपोज टू बी यू सी ईच एंड एवरी पीवी ब्रेकर इज डिजाइन सेपरेटली फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर शिप now normally they are designed for one ship and then the same uh, design and calculations are used for all sister vessels that is how shipyards work shipyards they don't design and use ships one by one you know it's sim- it's similar to let us say like a, a car so when a car is designed they design let us say you uh, you want a, a, a i don't know maybe maruti swift desire So, Maruti Swift Desire is a car. It is designed with all the criteria, and they have so many different cars of the same make. So, similarly, ships are designed. Uh, one particular design is made, and then the owner buys. So, he may buy twelve of those. Maybe some owner buys twelve of those. So, we have so many ships that the shipyard is going to make. Now, the design which is approved for the one is used for the all the other ones. Now, having said that. will have pv breaker designed for the required uh, range of pressure and vacuum kya requirement hai pressure and vacuum ka now based on that they will calculate so many liters so many liters of liquid of what density is required to be put in so many liters of density how much density has to be put in we must definitely meet that this information you will find in the inert gas manual right which is a gas manship which is under solas and you will find this information uske andar what is the design criteria of the design criteria and how much liquid of what density is required now what is the characteristic that liquid the main characteristic basically is that ki uh, it should not uh, freeze so there should be some anti freezing conditions right because the freezing temperature of uh, fresh water is how much zero zero degree celsius for 4 degrees centigrade hmm, yeah that's correct 4 degrees theek hai to all those of you who ran away from school thinking that are ये फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री कौन पढ़ेगा यू टू थिंक अगेन एज यू गो हायर ऑल ऑफ दीज आर गोइंग टू इंक्रीज ठीक है एंड इफ द बेसिक्स आर नॉट प्रॉपर देन यू विल ऑलवेज बी स्ट्रगलिंग सो इसका उपाय क्या है इसका एक ही उपाय है गो टू दी सी बी एस ई वेबसाइट एंड डाउनलोड द फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री बुक्स फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्व एंड क्लास इलेवन डाउनलोड करके रखो एंड वेन एवर यू आर इन डाउट रिगार्डिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ इशूज यू विल नीड टू रेफर टू दैट ओके नेक्स्ट वी कम टू वट इज द वट इज द नेक्स्ट वन एक्चुअली हमारा समय खत्म हो गया बट पीवी ब्रेकर के बारे में एक चीज और बोलना था विच आई गोट वे लेट रिगार्डिंग दैट लिक्विड या the liquid is generally and it is a mixture of fresh water and antifreeze whenever you are mixing that quantity you mix up and in a in a separate drum and you will need to come up with that particular density so you can measure the density on board the ship and then once you reach that particular density then you pour in exactly that many amounts of liters which is required in the system that is how you need to do once in a while there will be some evaporation losses which you need to top up um, worst case scenario worst case scenario um, let us say you run out of antifreeze and the pv breaker has blown off so worst case scenario you could use salt water directly this is an emergency method if you could use salt water directly the density is pretty much close to uh, what is required actually but uh, it works 
it works. So this is an emergency method. Uh, it is not a normal or routine operational method. PV breaker is not a venting device. PV breaker is not a venting device. PV breaker is not a venting device. Do not say that in the exam. It is definite grounds for come next time. Okay, that's all from my side. I will share this uh, 